change some families have been against since the news came out. A new school in Southeast Bakersfield may cause students to change where they get their education. The current high school district is looking for some input from the community on their plans. And as 23 ABC's Kylie Walker finds out, tonight's meeting to discuss all that was met with criticism, but one proposal stood out above the rest. The past few months, a committee with KHSC has been developing maps for a boundary change that will occur as Del Oro High School is being built. But on Tuesday night, families were able to give their input on these proposed maps. We wish we didn't have to do boundary changes. We would love for, for folks to stay at the same school forever. Uh, but the reality is that the enrollment is just getting too large. And these boundary changes sparking a debate in a public forum on Tuesday night. What contributes to a culture of a school? Sports, parent involvement, alumni. Those are major impacts on this school. The proposed changes completely change that for Bakersfield High School. And many families fear they would lose that if students were required to change schools. I'm creating so many memories and want, it would be so sad if all these kids, including my brother and sister, can't create those same memories later on. The current high school district is hosting their second public forum this month, allowing for community input on three proposed boundary maps. However, this would require students to move schools to help ease what some are calling an overcrowding issue. But still, some parents disagree. We took the bold step of selling our house and buying a new house in Stockdale Estates so that my children could go to BHS. And these maps were developed by a committee earlier this year, prompting questions from the community. Why are there fewer than 15 people making these recommendations? If each school site principal appointed two members, there should have been almost 40 people working on this committee. And one map did get more support than others. Proposal number three. Roger Sanchez, the director of research and planning for the Kern High School District, says they'll be collecting information from each forum and sending it to the Board of Trustees to make a final decision. What it does is provides input for the board members to kind of get a feel for uh, the community and what they like and what they don't like. And then whether that influences their decision on which plan to pick, that's where the community input is really essential. Now it's important to note that these public comments can be submitted in person at their next forum on June 29th or via email. And we'll have that information on our website, turn to 23.com. There you could also find information for those proposed maps. In Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23BC, connecting you. Thanks, Kylie. And in the Live Center now, we wanted to take a deeper look at the differences between all three proposed boundary plans the district has proposed. The main differences you'll see in these maps is the center area. For plan one here that you see on a map from the district, you see that most of the center part, which is in the bright green, is zoned for West High School. Now, if you look at plan two, it splits off the very southern tip of that area with the northern part of Laurel Glen zoned for Stockdale High and the southern part zoned for Indian. Independence High and in plan three foothills boundaries are also altered. The Northwest is the only school out of all the plans that's completely unaffected. All three proposals show redrawing where Highland, East Bakersfield, North and Bakersfield high schools meet. 